Warren Buffett, aka the Oracle of Omaha, is the most successful value investor of all time. If we look at the Forbes Rich list, he sits at the seventh wealthiest man in the world today. However, his daily routine, it's not something that you'd expect from one of the wealthiest men in the world. He's not going to meetings every day, he's not working 100 hours a week like Elon Musk. He's not even really managing a team of people. Buffett's routine is very different to most billionaires. The majority of his time is spent reading, sleeping, avoiding people, and eating like a six-year-old and drinking like a six-year-old. To sum up his routine, it'd be wake up, eat as much Dairy Queen, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's as you possibly can, read, play bridge, and then sleep. And I'm gonna be trying his routine for a day because I've got nothing better to do. So this should be fun. So Buffett normally gets up around 6.45 in the morning. I've just got up and Buffett always makes sure that he gets at least eight hours sleep a night. He's not a hyperactive billionaire. He likes to take things slow and he makes sure that he gets his sleep in. And the interesting thing about Warren Buffett is that when he goes downstairs, instead of reaching for a cup of coffee to get himself awake, he reaches for a can of Coca-Cola. Warren Buffett, he is basically in love with Coca-Cola. He drinks at least five cans of Coca-Cola per day. And if you think that's interesting, uh, what's even more interesting is what he eats for breakfast. When the market is down, Warren Buffett buys the cheap option. He spends $2.61 on two sausage patties and he pours himself a Coke. If the market is up, Warren Buffett will spend $3.17 on a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. So if we take a look at the market over the past five days, it's down. It's down by a bit. It's not really focusing, but... That means I'm gonna to have to get the two sausage patties uh, when I go to McDonald's. So I just put put on some glasses to try and make myself look a little bit more like Warren Buffett. Um, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I'm gonna take them off actually. <laughs> that didn't work. But we're off to the shop to buy five cans of Coca-Cola for the day, cherry Coke, and to get su two sausage patties from McDonald's for breakfast. They don't know the truth. Okay, we're just pulling into McDonald's now, and we're about to buy two meat patties. Mm, what a breakfast for a billy now. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to McDonald's. Take order, please. Yeah, hello. Um, please can get uh, two meat patties. What type of meat patties are you wanting? Thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Okay, now we got to stop at the dairy and get five cans of cherry coke. I was thinking about it, I'm actually looking forward to this day because what am I going to do? I'm going to eat, drink Coca-Cola, read, maybe watch a bit of TV, a bit of the news. I mean, avoid people. This is like my perfect day. Like, I should actually just do what Warren Buffett does every day. Look at this, we've got one, two, three, four... Five cans of Coke for the day. And, well, let's have breakfast. Um, they call this the breakfast of billionaires. So what do billionaires have for breakfast? Two, uh, they're meant to be sausage patties. These are just meat patties. Mm, not bad for a billionaire, I guess. I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers. And we wash that all down with a can of cherry Coke. I don't know how healthy this is, but <laughs> Warren Buffett's lived till he's like 90, so there must be some truth to the way he lives life. So I've still got four more cans of Coke that I need to get through today. And you might wonder, why does Warren Buffett eat so unhealthily? McDonald's for breakfast, five cans of Coke throughout the day. And someone asked Warren Buffett this question and he said, he said that he looked at the actuarial studies and he discovered that the lowest death rate was in six year olds. So he decided to eat like a six-year-old. And yeah, it's working. He's 90 years old or whatever he is. So after breakfast, it says Warren Buffett gets down to business. The man explains that most days he just sits in his office and reads all day. 
The oracle states that most of the materials he reads relate to companies' financials, market materials, financial journals, and investor reports. However, he also spends a decent amount of time reading newspapers and books. So that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. It says online that he spends around 6 hours a day reading. So that's what I'm going to do throughout the day. Drink these cans of coke and read different books and different material. And I'll let you know any lessons that I learned from reading different Warren Buffett type things. Hey guys, time for the second round of Coca-Cola. Um, I'm still enjoying it actually. I am still enjoying it. But five Coca-Colas in a day. Whew. Okay, so we're about two hours through the day of reading. By the way, I have to wear this uh, sling because my doctor wanted me to. Uh, so we're two hours through the day of reading. And it says here that Buffett, he prefers newspapers. He reads the Wall Street Journal, Journal, the New York Times, the Financial Times, the Washington Post. So what I've been doing through these past two hours is just reading through different articles. Uh, the Wall Street Journal, you have to pay for it online. Uh, same with the Financial Times, you have to pay if you want to read those articles. So I've just been reading the New York Times and the Washington Post, you don't have to pay for any of them. Been reading different things about Netflix subscriber growth uh, slowing down apparently, different reasons why inflation is high, We're reading why the Fed is potentially wanting to launch a digital dollar. So I've just been going through these articles and just, you know, growing my knowledge on investing and current events and why inflation is high. It, it feels good just to do this much reading. To be honest, I thought I'd hate reading for, it's only been two hours, but the first two hours has actually been pretty fun. I've just avoided people just alone in this room. I've been playing some classical music and honestly, I've quite enjoyed it. For these next two hours, I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, I might get into a book on a Kindle, a book that Warren Buffett recommended called The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. Apparently this book rarely helped him. I'm gonna buy it on Kindle and I'm just gonna keep going through these Coca-Colas as well. So. my uh, third can of coke. Uh, stomach's feeling a little bit weird after drinking so much coca-cola but I'm still loving the taste. It's just I have no idea how Warren Buffett's stomach and uh, body handles this much coca-cola. I feel I'm starting to feel terrible. So just a quick update everyone. It's around about hour three of I'm gonna be doing six hours of reading. I'm on to my fourth coca-cola now. Honestly I still I'm enjoying the taste of Coca-Cola. It does have a bit of an effect on me when I drink it though. I don't feel quite as sharp when reading and whatnot. And what I've been reading over the past hour is uh, Adam Smith's book, The Wealth of Nation. And he wrote this way back in 1776. Um, he's known as the father of economics. And this book is known as the Bible of Capitalism. But I'm going to keep reading and I'm going to keep drinking some, some good old Coca-Cola. Okay, I've been, I've been at this desk for basically about four hours now, reading different articles, doing different things, reading the book, and uh, I think it's about time for lunch. Um, so I read online that Warren Buffett, he'll either just go to McDonald's again, or he'll get a big steak. And so what I'm going to do is I've ordered a steak to go and eat and I'm going to get some ice cream because Warren Buffett, he loves Dairy Queen, he loves ice cream. Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. We've got a ribeye steak here with um, some fries and some nasty vegetables. Warren Buffett would never eat those vegetables. And we've also got two ice creams. So this is a very Warren Buffett-esque type lunch and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty hungry right now, so I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm still gonna eat my um, vegetables even though I know Warren Buffett probably wouldn't, but I don't wanna waste them. Okay, now we're moving on to the ice creams. Not quite Dairy Queen, but um, 
It's pretty good. That's so annoying. <laughs> you know, Warren Buffett's number one rule with uh, investing is to not lose money. My number one rule with eating ice cream is don't let it melt too much. Okay, that was really, really good. Delicious lunch. Um, now I'm gonna get back to doing some more reading. So guys, it's almost the end of the working day, 4.50 p.m. right now. And basically, most of the day is literally sitting by a desk in a room alone and just reading, reading, reading. I enjoyed it. At some periods, I got sick of reading, but overall, I did enjoy it. And the reason why Warren Buffett reads so much is, well, he kind of referred to it in one of the speeches he gave to a class of graduates. So what he said, someone asked him about what his secret was to success, Buffett picked up a stack of papers and he said, read 500 pages like this every day. That's how knowledge works. It builds up like compound interest. All of you can do it, but I guarantee not many of you will do it. And it's true, not many people are going to read 500 pages a day. It takes a certain temperament just to sit down and read all day. I try. I don't think I got through 500 pages today, not nowhere near close to 500 pages, but I've done more reading than I have done in a long time. So after work each day, Buffett will often swing by to McDonald's on the way back, and he gets home and he just relaxes. One of the things that he likes to do when he relaxes is play the game called Bridge. It's a game that is main, mainly played by older people. So guys, I've never played Bridge before, so I'm not gonna spend the next hour or two hours learning how to play Bridge to relax. I think I'm just gonna relax with a couple of games of chess and wind down from all of this reading. For me, it was a lot of reading. I struggled with doing that much reading, but I did see the benefits in why you should read that much. It really helps structure your brain better and I can see how it would help you make decisions better. So I'm not surprised that Warren Buffett's a billionaire. Do you think if I check my bank account, I'll be a billionaire as well? Is that how it works? If you just spend one day doing what Buffett does, you'll become a billionaire as well? Yeah, maybe not. But very interesting day for me. Warren Buffett is one of my investing idols and it was interesting for me to spend a day doing what Warren Buffett might do. Except his brain would work about 20 times more better than my brain would. But overall, good day, good food, and I've just got a little bit of a sugar low right now after drinking five cans of Coke.